How to add a form to a SharePoint online page. That is what this video is about. I'm Paul Keizers and I help businesses with SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will know everything you need to know to insert a form in a SharePoint page. So let's jump into it. In this case, I've got already my intranet and I want to create a new form. And how am I going to do that? I'm first going to edit this page. And yes, this page I use a lot for other things as well. So we're editing and I want to add a form here. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to say form. I'm going to select mark forms here. I can select what I want. If I want a new form or I want an existing form, because it could be that you are sharing this form on other locations as well. So in this case, I'm going to select a new form and uh, here I can give the name. So collect data on the intranet. It's just a regular name now i'm redirected to forms <coughs> and in forms i can create uh, new um, new data so a new question so here i can say okay um, what is the weather about today and then i can say good sunny uh, and we got some other options as you were saying, bad, uh, add other options and we can select multiple, but uh, we want to say, okay, this is enough. And for this demo, it's only one question, but, but you can add as many questions as you want. Then I can say collect responses. And in this case, I'm going to say only people in KB words uh, demos can respond record name uh, and I want one response per person so not everybody does it uh, of course if you do this on a repetitive pattern then you don't want one per response per person but then you want to do it on a daily basis so I copy this one I'm going back to the landing and actually it already did it for me it already uh, created a form address and here you see you can collect the responses but I could also show form results of course in this case I don't want to see the results but uh, it could be that uh, I want to show them later on so I'm gonna click OK and uh, I'm gonna republish and now my form is added to the page so this is really really simple now of course uh, this uh, is my answer good sunny and I know some people will say okay this is nice but uh, I want to see the overall result so I'm going to edit this page and I have to look because I think this is uh, one big section Be what I want is actually to build a new section Let's see if it's already there. Let's do a new two column section. And as you can see, it moved to the top. It doesn't matter for me uh, as this is demo data. Here I'm going to uh, set up the uh, form. So you see it's already been voted, but okay. I want to see the results on the side. So I go again and here I type forms again now I'm going to select add existing form and here I uh, paste the link which I copied and I'm going to say show as a uh, form results a web address will be created anyone with it can view a summary of responses so be aware of that that if it's a private one then you may uh, tick off this box. But for now, I'm going to do it open because it's on the internet. And here we directly see our responses. Now, there is one um, caveat here because what happens is 
of course i added the form and it's working fine but i could only do one uh, response and there's uh, one other thing and that's that uh, if i want to do another response uh, this part will not refresh after this part so that's something you need to be aware of so i'm going to untick this one and uh, just close it and uh, refresh the page let's see if it's already updated so now i can add a multiple uh, multiple times so now i'm going to say okay it's bad and you see it's not refreshing but only when i refresh the whole page it will refresh so it will give you some insights but it's still uh, it's not like dynamic um, and i think for now this is great to see how this works uh, but uh, i'm curious have you done this in your sharepoint environment uh, how did you implement it because you see it's uh, responsive and uh, maybe one more thing to show is um, that we can could also say okay we are going to um, set the results for example when it's uh, editing by the way if you like this video like it and subscribe to my channel this would help me a lot and uh, i know only 90 percent of all people have not subscribed so it would be great if you could subscribe we're just picking it up and moving it to the side to show you what happens and as you can see it makes it smaller and makes it uh, nicer so be aware where you place this in your internet uh, having said that, uh, this was it for this, uh, this uh, video um, and I was looking for something else but that doesn't matter. Uh, if you um, like this then I got here another uh, video about SharePoint which you can look up and uh, else I see you next time. Thanks for watching.